A man was spending a night on the town when a homeless woman took him by surprise. Some underestimate the homeless by forgetting that they are regular human beings who have pasts and stories of their own. Many ignore the homeless. Some may offer some spare change, but it's rare that someone will take the time to have a conversation with a homeless person. When one Welsh man did just that, he was shocked to discover who he was speaking with. He was especially taken aback by the humility of the woman and her friend who was also homeless. What started as a typical night out led to a surprising turn of events. Listen on to find out what happened. The guy with a backward cap and a crooked smile is Jonathan Pengeli, no Welshman. Like many young adults, he enjoys a good time out on the town with friends. After a few years of going out, you more or less know what to expect. Friends, games, food, maybe some dancing, rinse and repeat. However, this night would turn into one that many adults never experience. Someone is about to make a huge impact on Jonathan's life. Anyone who spent a night out knows that it often ends in hunger. Staying up late and moving around inevitably results in a grumbling stomach. However, as the hours tick by, the available food options dwindle. After hopping from spot to spot in Cardiff, Wales, Jonathan and his friends decided to grab some fast food from McDonald's. The spot was cheap, quick, and seemed like an easy option as their carefree night slowly wound down. Many fast food places will stay open later than your average restaurant. This is for two reasons. To serve the customers who plan to eat late and don't have another option, and to serve the customers who've been partying all night and have lowered their inhibitions. As you might expect on a weekend night, many people crowded the McDonald's where Jonathan and his friends found themselves. However, the line wasn't just backed up because it was busy. Jonathan soon realized what the holdup was. A woman was attempting to order something, but the cashier refused to help her. The woman in line appeared to be homeless, leading Jonathan to the assumption that she was trying to get a meal. He figured there was only one reason the cashier would be ignoring her. He thought that perhaps the woman was ordering food that she couldn't afford. Like others in line, he leaned in to catch what was being said. As Jonathan listened in, he discovered that the homeless woman just wanted some water. It appeared that the cashier was denying the woman a basic human right, since all establishments are typically expected to offer free water. The woman eventually left the counter, wandering back out into the empty cold with nothing to eat, much less a drop of water. Feeling dismayed at the lack of concern towards this woman, Jonathan followed her out into the cold. Jonathan approached the woman and asked if he could get her anything. Some people would jokingly respond a million dollars. Certainly, a homeless person would likely have a laundry list of things they might need just to make it through the night. What shocked Jonathan most and changed the trajectory of his night was her response. He expected that she would have plenty of requests for all he knew she might be rude to him, still bitter over the fact that she'd been denied water. The homeless woman simply asked Jonathan for a cheeseburger. Surely there must be else he could get for her beyond a single cheeseburger, though. He asked again if there was anything more she wanted. The homeless woman said she did have a friend who needed something to eat. Strunk by her humility, Jonathan went back into the McDonald's determined to turn the night around for both homeless women. He decided that he would surprise this woman with kindness the way she had surprised him. Jonathan and his friends each bought as much food and drink as they could carry. The inexpensive meals were a small price to pay to leave an impact on the lives of two homeless women. They brought the food out to the homeless women and joined them on the sidewalk. Like a family-style dinner, the small group of friends and their new homeless companions ate around a pile of food. Inevitably, the women began sharing their stories. As the group spoke, they discovered that the woman who had been turned away inside the McDonald's was named Polly. She'd been homeless for years and living on the streets, and she explained just how inconsiderate people could be. What was most painful to her and her friend wasn't just being rejected. The truly difficult part of being passed in the streets was that some people made fun of Polly and her friend, mocking them as they went by. One common misconception about homeless people is they're all lazy and dumb. In fact, it's a much more complex than that, as Jonathan and his friends discovered. He told his son, When I got to speak to them, I was genuinely shocked at their story and how educated they were. So full of life and enthusiasm and they literally have nothing. Whatever had landed these women on the streets, it didn't take away the people they are on the inside. While some people wouldn't dream of letting someone they hardly knew into their homes, Jonathan and his friends agreed that it was the right thing to do. They asked Polly and her friend if they'd like to come over to freshen up. Not many consider how foreign a home would feel after years of living on the streets. The warmth, light, and basic conveniences that many of us take for granted are not lost on someone who's been homeless. Polly and her friend happily agreed. 
Once the women arrived at Jonathan's home, they were able to use a proper well-stocked bathroom for the first time in a long time. They brushed their teeth and showered, finally feeling the comfort of having a fresh and clean body. One thing that sometimes causes people to see the homeless as others is their physical appearance. Without a typical hygiene routine, they can become unappealing and easier for passers-by to ignore. By giving Polly and her friend the gift of hygiene, Jonathan helped bring their inner beauty back out. While the ladies washed up, Jonathan prepared some food for them to take home. Some argue that it isn't good to give the homeless money since you don't know what they'll use it on. That's why others have found that they prefer to give homeless people food instead. Jonathan had already gone above and beyond for Polly and her friend, but he insisted upon offering them more than just a single meal and a hygiene reset. While the food wouldn't last forever, it would at least offer the women a chance to feel full for an entire day. Here's a photograph of Jonathan and Polly on the evening that they met. You can tell by her warm smile that she feels genuine gratitude towards Jonathan. You can also see in his expression that these women had a serious effect on the young man. He provided Polly and her friend with warm blankets and pillows and handed over the packaged food he had prepared. The true act of humanity left the woman recharged and in brighter spirits than before. After such a pleasant experience with Polly and her friend, Jonathan felt an understandable surge of protectiveness. He took to Facebook to describe the evening and was sure to note that McDonald's refused Polly a cup of water. He wrote, I don't know what was going through the cashier's mind, but a lady, clearly homeless, was asking for a basic human right and for a multi-billion pound company for them to say no is disgusting. Jonathan's heartfelt recounting of the night went viral, gaining the sympathy of others around the world. His story was not the first bout of criticism that McDonald's had faced recently. If they wanted to keep their loyal customers, they'd need to respond. While some wouldn't pay any attention to the misconduct of someone towards a homeless person, Jonathan's story set a foundation for others to follow. Moved by his story, others made enough of a fuss over Polly's refused cup of water that it got reporters' attention. The story gained so much headway that reporters got into contact with McDonald's over the controversial issue. A spokeswoman for the company assured that they do not have a policy that discriminates against the homeless. According to her, the homeless are welcome into any McDonald's location. As far as requesting water, she said that the vast majority of those requests are met. While the response didn't state that handing over water to anyone who asks is a part of their policy, it did specify that kicking out an individual on the grounds that they're homeless is not policy. As it turns out, though, the cashier had a valid reason to refuse service to Polly. Despite her humble demeanor towards Jonathan, she was on a police sanction list that verified she'd been banned from McDonald's. The spokeswoman went on to state that the store, as well as other locations in Cardiff, Wales, was working with the police to ban certain individuals on the basis of illegal and antisocial behavior. In other words, Polly's ban was supposedly due to her having broken the law or doing something to disturb those in the restaurant. While the spokeswoman for McDonald's stated that the refusal to provide Polly with water was her own fault and not theirs, the company's response is too vague to know for sure. Since they didn't provide reporters with an explanation of what Polly did to deserve such a ban, it's uncertain if she did deserve it. Some, like Jonathan, who've seen the humanity in those severely struggling financially fight to support these individuals. While all citizens are held to an equal code of ethics, some are worse off than others. Whether Polly was rightfully banned from McDonald's or not, her encounter with Jonathan is an important reminder that the homeless people are not all the same. Jonathan's surprise at Polly and her friend was due to his assumption that they were not as humble as intelligent as they were. If we all consider the fact that any given homeless person might be full of potential that's been lost on their circumstances, we might feel less compelled to avoid them like the plague. Whether it's food, blankets, or a cup of water, anything can help those in need.